and welcome our blood viewers to RTD's News English Edition. As usual, we bring to you the major and top highlights of tonight. Let's follow. The President inaugurates, inaugurates a luxury hotel. And also we got uh, in the water empowerment launch of an innovative project for access to drinking water supporting vulnerable women. And on the international scene, Joe Biden and Donald Trump dominate Super Tuesday, American primaries. Those were the major and top highlights. Welcome back to our newsroom, our beloved viewers. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Umar Gale, integrated this morning the Isla Grand of Djibouti Hotel. This five-star hotel from Nile of Isla Grand Hotel Group in Djibouti offers a harmonious blend of luxury, um, comfort and elegance and with its world-class infrastructure, state-of-the-art facilities and which embodies excellence in the hotel industry. Hospitality and instills a dynamic with a view to strengthening the diversification and revitalization of the tourism sector. This integration of the Isla Grand Hotel in Djibouti marks an important step in the diversification of the country's economy and its quest to become a destination of choice for travelers from around the world. This internationally re-owned hotel embodies luxury, comfort and elegance for business travelers and tourists looking for an unforgettable experience with furnished rooms and uh, gourmet restaurants, leisure facilities and a state-of-the-art conference center. The hotel meets the needs and standards of the international hotels. This hotel project is in addition to the major project which contributes to strengthening the positioning of Djibouti as a commercial and tourist hub in the region and in the world. President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Umar Gilly was welcomed on his arrival at the Ayla Grand Hotel by the Prime Minister Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, the Minister of Commerce and Tourism, as well as the CEO of the Nile M Group, Nile Rashid Saif Al Shamsi, and several senior officials. The Grand Ayla Hotel of Djibouti will play a vital role in promoting Djibouti as a tourist destination of choice and reinforces Djibouti's reputation as a safe and attractive destination for foreign investment in Djibouti. Then the President of the Republic proceeded to cut the ribbon. Then the President of the Republic proceeded to cut the ribbon, thus offering Djibouti and its visitors a new a leading destination to the tourist landscape with its modern facilities, elegant design and quality service.
After cutting the ribbon, the President of the Republic began the tour of the hotel. Accompanied by the CEO of NAL Group as well as senior officials, the head of state visited the various luxurious facilities and equipment that makes up this hotel. With this 217 rooms, Grand Isle Hotel in Djibouti is equipped with quality facilities and equipment, presential suites, conference rooms, acceptance restaurants with redefined gastronomy, the swimming pools, with relaxation areas and other high-quality services. The Ayala Grand Hotel in Djibouti aims to offer high-quality international standard service by offering different services and amenities to not only honor the ambitions and serve tourism, but also compete with the large international regional hotels. <laughs> The President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Ghali, took part in the inauguration ceremony of the Ayla Hotel in Djibouti. In addition to the President of the Republic, the ceremony was attended by members of the government, led by the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, members of the Parliament, representative of international organizations, and the diplomatic corps associated to Djibouti, as well as numerous civilian and military personalities and entrepreneurs. Situated in a strategic location in the heart of Djibouti's capital, the hotel boosts elegant architecture, state-of-the-art facilities, and world-class service as the jewel in Djibouti's hotel industry. This town should embody luxury and refinement, offering visitors an incomparable experience in a spectacular setting with a panoramic views. The integration of the hotel marks the beginning of a new era for Djibouti's tourism industry, offering high standards and comfort of hospitality and setting new benchmarks for the entire sector, encouraging investment and stimulating competition and diversification.
a moody da da ragi boy, umma takwad ba. Africa a bay na harle, siya sa gital ma harle. Ne hab ta gihlo barsale, isari ma ne ita turle. Agat a moody da da ragi boy, umma takwad ba. Africa a bay na harle, siya sa gital ma harle. The seat of Parliament today hosted the work of the first public plenary session of the first ordinary session of Parliament of the year 2024 of the Night Legislature. This session chaired by Mr. Delita Mohammed Delita, President of the National Assembly, saw the participation of the Prime Minister, parliamentarians, and members of the government. The preliminary session marks an important step in putting the spotlight on the diversity and importance of parliamentary activities, including the voting of laws, control of executive and parliamentary diplomacy without forgetting the capacity building sessions of duties. The President of the National Assembly in his opening remarks recalled the procedural stages of preparations which accompanied the tenuous nature of the session. The agenda of the first session focused mainly on the legislative text. Among the draft law discussed were strategies concerning the prevention and fight against corruption, the financing of terrorism, and other offenses. Also note the draft laws relating to the organization and operation of civil society organizations. At the end of the discussions or, or, and after the favorable votes of parliamentarians, His Excellency, the Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Delita Mohammed Delita, had already the achievements and efforts made by the members of law committee as well as the executives in the examination of the project cited above. Uh, to conclude, he expressed on behalf of the National Repre uh, Representative uh, the most sincere wishes on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing everyone a period marked by peace and sharing. Uh, As part of the situation of insecurity in the Red Sea, which marks a new episode in the series of incidents since November, Mr. Mohammed Abdulghadir Musa Halim, Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development, held a working meeting on March 6, 2024, in his office with Mr. Khosi Barahona, Resident Coordinator of the United Nations System in Djibouti. 
The objective of this meeting is to take stock of the evolution of the situation of this incident in the region. The minister underlined his concern about an imminent threat to the marine biodiversity of the Red Sea. Indeed, the fuel leak and the presence of fertilizers in the waters of the Red Sea represent a direct danger for the fauna and flora marine as well as for the fragile ecosystems in the region. The long-term consequences of this pollution could be devastating and require immediate action. In this context, the minister highlighted the crucial importance of strengthened regional cooperation. He insisted on the need to share information on impact levels and raise the need for the establishment of an anti-pollution center in Djibouti. For his part, the regional coordinator gave a general overview of the situation and strongly expressed his full support for the critical situation. It highlighted the crucial importance of collaboration and information sharing between the nations. The current uh, situation represents a major environmental risk for the Red Sea. It is imperative that all stakeholders joins efforts to minimize damage to the marine ecosystem and ensure stability in the region. Today, the court of auditors uh, donned its solemn robes for the traditional swearing in ceremony. The event marks the start of a new judicial year for one of the world's highest institutions. The court of auditors today held its formal hearing for the year 2024. Under the watchful eye of the magistrates, the new members of the court took their oath, pledging to perform their duties with integrity, impartially and rigor. The symbolic ceremony testifies to the importance of the independence and responsibility incumbent on the court of auditors in this auditing mission. The first president of the court of auditors, Madam Ismahan Mahmoud Ibrahim, and the attorney general of the court of auditors, Madam uh, Madiba Ismail Aouled, spoke at the ceremony. Beyond this ceremonial aspect, the formal hearing reflects on the commitment to transparency and excellence to the exercise of its attributions, thus contributing to the preservation of integrity and confidence in the state institutions. The second edition of the major youth tournament in Tadal uh, of the Fed Dujan uh, takes place on Monday, March 4 to Saturday, March 9. Around 500 Djiburin and French children and teenagers will be competing in a spirit of fair play and good humor. The tournament is organized by the West Africa Football Academy of Djibouti. During the ceremony, the academy's managers received materials. The equipment consists of numbers, cones, numbered uh, pallets, mini goals, costry haze with one hole and three hole buses. There are also large uh, Adidas bags with wheel and eight mini goals. Uh, The FTN Association of the Ali Sibih District held the official lunch ceremony of its project at the headquarters of the Regional Council with the team harmonizing the balance between gender and water supporting wedded women and vulnerable girls in the access to drinking water in the Ali Sibih region. The local development process financed by USAID and implemented by the Kaizen Company, this launching ceremony of this project is to support access to drinking water for vulnerable households. The Vice President of the Regional Body of Decentralization was present, also Dawood Said Guldon, the President of the Iftin Association, Mrs. Momina Okie, representatives of the five Asa Jokes Associations, member of the Cluster Group, as well as members of the city civil society. During the meeting, firstly, the Vice President of the Iftin Association of Ali Sibih uh, gave a brief history of uh, the association. The new projects funded by the American people through its international development agency, USAID, will help to strengthen and consolidate the partnerships between the Republic of Djibouti and the United States of America. In Mouloud, yesterday, Monday, March 5, 2024, marks the official launch of the project Waste Collection Management in Mouloud, initiated by the Association uh, for Agriculture and Rural Development, a major milestone in the active commitment of this dynamic local association. The genesis of this initiative enterprise dates back to January 5, 2024, when the grant contract was officially signed between the ANCLD and the IDOR in the Dekhil Regional Council. Supported by the International Association of French-Speaking Mayors, uh, faced with the rapid extension of the locality, the project intervenes to counter the harmful effects of the anarchic occupation of the garbage dumped by homes, causing major health and environmental problems. The lecture ceremony chaired by Mr. Mahad Hussein Ahmed, President of the Dekhir Region Council and Treasurer of the ANCLD Executive Office, brought together a high-level delegation among the personalities present where uh, Mr. Musa Ahmed Ugaray, Sub-Prefect of Mulud, Mr. Umar Hussein Umar, President of the ANCLD and the Regional Council of Tejurra. The other association led by Mr. Mahmoud Wabiri Meagle warmly welcomed the delegation provides for the construction of a, a ritual landfill as well as collection and burial operations of waste from the illegal dumps.
As part of the fight against uh, cat smuggling, the PK-51 custom brigade in close collaboration with the President Guled Military School in the Hol Hol intercepted a large quantity of smuggled cat. After being identified, the cat traffickers preferred to abandon their good rathers than be arrested. On this occasion, the goods seized uh, included 16 colleagues of cat with a total value of around 1.500 million Jubilee francs. The, the customs of Berigat succeeded in burning this quantity in accordance with standard procedure. In collaboration with the army, the destruction of this quantity was... Uh, Carried out in the presence of the head of the PK 51 Customs Brigade, Mr. Suleiman Hassan Jama. It should be remembered that smuggling is a virtual scourge which undermines our nation's economic development. So it's up to each and every citizen to lead his own or her own fight to put an end to this illicit trade. Shifting gears was the international scene now. The U.S. president and his predecessor are edging closer to another presidential showdown in November. U.S. President Joe Biden and his producer Donald Trump won the vast majority on primaries on Super Tuesday, edging closer to another presidential showdown in November. Joe Biden and Donald Trump each won California, Texas, Alabama, Colorado, Maine, Oklahoma, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Arkansas, Minnesota, and Massachusetts. Joe Biden also won the Democratic uh, primaries in Utah, Vermont, and Iowa. Well, by this, our blood viewers, we finally conclude this edition. Thank you for being with us and make sure to tune in later for more. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.